Joining me are Ethan and his wife, Olivia Plath, Micah Plath, Mariah Plath. That clip was the introduction to the family, how they live, and how they are evolving and changing. Ethan, I got to tell you, take me into the home. Okay, no social media, no internet, no TV. That's not so far-fetched. A lot of people don't let their kids on the internet or limit TV time, but no soda. I mean, I don't. that would be a deal breaker for me. I don't know if, <laughs> I mean, it, it went from, I think, things that people can understand you not wanting to expose your children to, to things far more severe. Yeah, yeah, you're absolutely, you're absolutely right. I mean, there was no um, social media, cell phones, internet, computers. Um, we had a landline from 1980, and that was about it. <laughs> but um, no soda, no sugar, no, a lot of things that a lot of people wouldn't even think twice about. We never even saw until we were like, were your parents raised this way? What what made them, you know, put these restrictions on you, you all? No, no, they were not raised that way. It was kind of like, um, you know, you hear the old saying about the pendulum never stops in the middle. Mm. My parents were raised very differently and possibly maybe out of their own hurt or their own life issues that maybe they hadn't dealt with. They thought that and an answer to their problems was to go all the way to another extreme. And of course, that doesn't ever really work out. Micah, you said on the show that your parents, the way that they raised you, that it doesn't prepare you for the real world, that this extreme sheltering, I guess some people might describe it, doesn't equip you to deal with reality. Yeah, it really doesn't. Um, I mean, you look at the way we grew up, um, so sheltered, no social experience. Um, like we had, at least we had a lot of siblings because we didn't have many friends. But just going from that to out in the world, especially on your own, uh, with very few people to help you along the way, um, it is hard. Um, did you grow up telling them that? You know, did you grow up expressing this? This, you know, I, I think about my two-year-old when I open the door. Sometimes he just bolts to the door because he knows that there's a bigger life out there. Did you express this to your parents? No, not for a while. We didn't. Um, we were, we weren't very close. I, in particular, wasn't very close with my parents. Um, so it took a while for I get. I guess when I started, you know, growing my wings and starting when I was about seventeen was when I started to express that to my parents. Mariah, what was difficult for you? I mean, I know we're going to talk about the fact that there's an estrangement now because of these strict rules, but when you were growing up, what was the biggest <laughs> challenge for you? Um, I would say all of it was the main challenge, um, but not being able to express myself and be me and then um, just not having like a good relationship with my parents, which that was partly my choice, but I mean, we didn't have like, I just wasn't willing to follow the rules. So I don't know, yeah. How even you, to this day, it's just like. Because you had limited internet and TV, how did you know that there was something else out there? Because so often our experience, the community we're raised in, the environment, we're, then when that's all you know, you may not be aware of how good things or how tempting things are outside of it. How did you know? Honestly, I don't know. It's like just something inside you tells me tells you that what you're doing and where you're at isn't right for you. And that's just like what I felt. I just knew that there was something else outside. I mean, you be pretty naive, even if you've never been outside of the like the farm for me. You'd have to be extremely naive not to know that there's more out there. Micah, you um, have decided to strike out on your own. You want to pursue a modeling career, again, very far from the farm life that your parents wish uh, that you would be living. Let me play a clip from the show. I'm just focusing on pursuing modeling. I've come such a long way being more comfortable with my body. Don't be scared to hold on to me. I feel like I'm really living life right now. And reach up and over, feel the stretch in your side. I'm working two jobs. I've got a boyfriend. Do you know that you're the first guy that Mariah's brought to meet us? Well, I'm gonna flip that on y'all. How do y'all feel about that? 
Oh, okay. <laughs> Mariah, you want to go into music. You guys are looking at two fields, two industries that are heavily associated with, um, you know, sometimes some bad things in life, modeling, music. Michael, when you told your parents, what did yeah, they say? Terrible. My parents seemed supportive um, after a while. Um, at first, you know, they, they were very skeptical. They did not think that was appropriate. Did um, they see the shirtless pictures of you with the abs out? What did they say? I have not asked them. They're not on social media much. Uh, so they've probably seen it because it's all on the internet, but they haven't brought it up. I haven't brought it up. So there's like a don't ask, don't tell. Yeah, basically. Mariah, I saw you on the date there. I couldn't help but notice your, you know, five inch stiletto heels. I mean, you've, you're beautiful. <laughs> You've got your face done up. Again, this is so counter to how you were raised. Is this your truth or is this rebellion? Um, I see it as my way of expressing myself and like I literally don't care um, what my family thinks about it. And I feel like if they actually love me, they'll end up accepting me eventually. Mm -hmm. And I hope that'll happen soon. Um, but until then, like, it's just, it's not my problem what they think of oh. me. So I like to wear what I want and do what I want um, and set my own boundaries. And everybody's are different. 